Hi, it's Jen and Bethany from Shabby Fabrics with a really special project for you today. Uh, there was a collection introduced um, a while back called Color Collage. You're seeing this amazing fabric on the set by Shelly Davis for Northcott. And I'm like, we're making an eye spy quilt. <laughs> and so I said, Bethany, let's talk about it. Let's do something fun. We all remember the I Spy books as kids. And as a mom, um, it helped my kids learn new shapes, colors, it helped them concentrate. So this is, feels like memory lane to me. I really, and you talked about it too. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is very endearing. It's a very special group of fabric, like I said, from Northcott. And they also sprinkled in these beautiful kind of model solids. They're Toscanas. They're a basic, of course, for Northcott. We love using those. They're more exciting than a solid because they're modeled. That texture. Yeah, I love it. that, yeah. right? So I love that that's kind of like a better than a solid. Um, so what you're seeing here is our I Spy quilt. This is a free download to you. We did make up some kits, limited kits, of course, um, on this. And if you are going to pick up the kit, uh, we'll be sure to include the instructions. Maybe you've already got a stash of fabric at home and you just want to download the pattern. That's fun too. The whole idea is it's kind of, you know how some quilts are just on the couch and you just use them? This is conversational. Like I could see everybody put your cell phone in a basket, <laughs> be fully present, and let's just play this fun little game. And it can be really adults or kids. Mm -hmm. And there's a little surprise in the end. Bethany was so inspired, she wrote two <laughs> poems to match our specific quilt, one for the little ones and one for the adults. So when I said I wanted to make an I Spy quilt, I really tasked you with that. Mm -hmm. And you found some really important tips and techniques yeah. that helped you and would help our viewers. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let you take it away. And what did you do um, to make our project so that you can plan it out maybe even write the poem or even match our poem right, if right. you wanted to. All right. So first thing to note, this fabric is so special. Uh -huh. um, it And one thing I love is that each color, I believe there's seven different colors of um, your ice, your the color, ice collage, collage, yeah, color collage. collage. Mm -hmm. um, each one's completely unique. There's some themes in them that are uh, similar or that, you know, con uh, con continuity. Yeah. Con yeah. Continuous across the, <laughs> the seven. But they're all completely unique, so there's just different things defined in each one, and it's a digital print, correct? Yes. So the detail on this is super, super, um, like, intricate. Um, so you can take this fabric with the fabric, cut your squares, and get a really great quilt, but there's so much special stuff in here. So um, we've done fussy cutting before, but I want to really walk you through um, how to decide what to do with this, because there's so much going on here. Yes. Yeah? And I know with our specific quilt, if you're going to follow along with that size, and you can make this any size. Right. Um, don't We're trying to go for 18 squares per color? Eight, yeah, 18 squares per half yard yep. here, which is, there's plenty of fabric here Good. to do that. Um, but let's, let's take a look. So I'm going to kind of bring this over to this camera here and see what we've got um, and just first take in how beautiful this fabric oh is. Oh my gosh. Maybe unfold the whole half yard and try to see where my repeat is. Um, Cause I, you know, I want to fussy cut. I'm gonna grab a three and a half inch ruler that's critical to this project here. Um, and, you know, right off the bat, I'm seeing this little bunny in the plus sign. I can get that guy in the middle, but maybe if I'm cutting into him, I might be cutting into something else I also really like. So I wanna see if I can get it here can I get it elsewhere in the half yard? Mm. What can I do here? You know, I I like the words, or the, the colors in different um, languages, the butterflies, there's so much to do. Um, what do you think we should fussy cut first? Oof. And, and what's interesting about this, when I look at this fabric, now that we're talking about mm -hmm. the repeat, I'm used to the repeat being here and here. Notice it's staggered. Mm -hmm. That yeah. and that. Mm -hmm. I I go, I love that. You're like, yeah, I, that was the first <laughs> thing really that popped out that. to me. Is that yeah. like a like a daisy or something? I don't know my flowers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so and the thing with the three and a half inch ruler, that white crosshairs in the middle, like I can put that right on the like 
middle of a flower and get that. But I've also got like these two girls here. I think they're oh. so beautiful. So I, I mean, I could even offset oh. that to get them in the middle too. Okay, I'm just zeroed just, in on the flower. Yeah, I like you know, that. I think I like the flower right in the middle. Okay. Um, so we're gonna mark that. I have the Bohen, a uh, Bohen. This is a white like chalk pencil. Okay. Um, I like this a lot because it's a refillable pencil. It's erasable, um, and the line is very fine on this. So I can mark around completely where I'm gonna go. And then if I need to, like sometimes, especially I think our blue fabric is a little light or like I'm not quite seeing that line here. I might go in with my friction pen okay. on one side. Light or dark, e even on the same cut. Even on the same on... cut. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, I want to be able to see this. And then one thing I'm going to do before I even start cutting this fabric is I want all 18 of my squares mapped out. Yep. Okay. Um, and. One thing I found really, really helpful was because there's so much going on here and these lines are very faint, um, I like to grab the, this is the Clover Wonder Clips, and these you can open and close with one hand. Can you see that? Yeah. Really fast. So we're going to open, close. That's amazing. Okay. Um, and I like to just mark that. So if I need to count, okay, am I, am I at 16, am I at 17? I can quickly count all my little clips here. It's easier to see that than the lines. I don't even know mm -hmm. if the overhead camera can pick right, it up, but right. it's, and I know you marked one of them mm -hmm. all the way out. Yeah. So maybe we should yeah. look at that one, so I want to kind of your out. plan versus just, I'd be like, start cutting. I yeah. think that's smart to plan it, it out. And let's see. Yeah, so this one, and the, the clips, um, I think it's a pack of 20, and they come in yellow and pink. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the pink clips on here would obviously just disappear right into the fabric. So that's where the yellow ones really came into into play here. Um, and then another thing I wanted to point out that I thought was, was really fun is your squares don't have to be marked out on the straight of grain. I you saw know? you do that so you could get it dead on. Right, like I really liked this pink. Uh, where'd my little ruler go? Um, this word pink, but I had already kind of fussy cut some other things. And if I had tried to get this in the middle, I would have been cutting into maybe some other squares. Mm. And I had plenty of room to get that right on point. Um, I think I actually used the diagonal line here to line that up right. Perfect. You know, perfect. And we're getting really close. If the camera can catch that, we're getting really close to some other squares we have here. Okay. But we can do it. Okay. okay. Um, trust in the okay. process. <laughs> As you say, she's always like, trust the process. <laughs> okay. We're doing that. Okay. So once we've got all 18 mm -hmm. on here, and I think we actually need 17 from all the colors and one color, we need one more. Okay. Okay. So we might, I have some left over. And really, um, if you like one color more than another, yeah, you know, true. You know, there's, there's, there's flexibility in that. Yes. How do we fussy cut these? Uh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, that's the okay. part you're going to tell me about. <laughs> Especially something like this where we've got, you know, I've got this is touching here. This is really close. This is touching. This is touching. Um, it's hard to work on a spinning mat with a whole half yard. It, right? Yes, it's so. off the mat. Right. So how do you recommend Permission that? to cut into this? Uh, we're, yeah, going, we're going for it. We're okay. going to go for it. All right. So first thing I like, I like a 28 millimeter rotary cutter. It okay. gives me a little more precision. Um, I'm gonna do some rough cuts around this first. Makes sense. And then we'll get them. We'll get them smaller, and that way are easier to maneuver. So, nice. Okay. Um, some of my pieces on the edges here are quite isolated, so I'm gonna go to the middle to show you maybe some that are a little closer together. Okay. Um, here, I know I'm not right. Like those aren't touching, so I've got one here, one here. I'm just gonna cut around these and be really careful. Right between here. Yep, I see that. To not catch those. Well, rough cut, okay? And then I can, of course, take my pens out because we're going to use our ruler right. to cut these out. I love how fast these open and close. I love these so I much. know. These Wonder <laughs> Pens are cool. And they're fairly new for Clover. Are they? Yes, because yeah. I... <laughs> When I do quilting, I'm like, okay, where's the junk drawer? I'm pulling out safety <laughs> pins, and I, there's never yeah. enough. <laughs> I just, like, I found these in the drawer in the sewing room, and I bought uh, a few some... packs for myself. I love them. So, all right, so this is where, you know, we're working with two at a time here. Okay. My lines are pretty close, but let's 
get that lined up, you know, we could grab our ruler and go on the lines, but I'm I'm already got this ruler. Yeah. I want that precision. So the lines are more for planning, but then yeah, you're for gonna, getting yeah. all 18. Right, right. To visualize it because with the friction pen and with that bone white, mm -hmm. um, I know the friction irons away and the is the bone a damp cloth? I believe it's, I mean, it's, there's an eraser on there. I oh, believe it's, it's erasable. an eraser. Yeah. Yes. Erasable. Yes. I remember um, that. But that's the line you're cutting on, you know, so I don't. I just love using yeah. this ruler because now I know it's, it's the three and a half going into the project. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. Oh, that's hi. adorable. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. Here we got our oh. little, our little. Valentine. Girls right thing. in the middle. There's so to it like the little cocktail umbrella the beading needles <laughs> we're really appreciating this fabric i drooled over this fabric for days when it was first <laughs> given to me to start playing with and yeah. i almost didn't want to cut into it um but i had super i fun. had the um i knew that we were getting more so i was like okay this isn't like this isn't it you know. And I can see another project kind of as we're working through this because there's a lot of extra fabric to make cute little coasters. Oh my god! That might be kind of a conversation starter, mm -hmm. maybe at a party. You know, I mean, I just think there's a lot going on mm -hmm. with this fabric. Um, so even if you want to pick up some fabric and add to your own stash for your own I Spy, that's another option. Hopefully there's still fabric available by the time you're yeah. watching this. Um, so now that we've got our squares, mm -hmm. um, now what are we doing? So with the design we have here, um, we really liked the Toscanas at the cornerstones in this. Yes. Okay. Um, putting them right up to the edge of this. It was a it was there's a lot there's a lot going on so to kind of to kind of stop these and frame them completely we added a little snowball corner to okay. these okay and I think we've done that plenty of times here um, it's a pretty small one here uh, and I've taken that white pencil from Bohan again and drawn a diagonal yep this goes right in the corner we we'll do all four corners and then we sew point to point. Yeah, okay. I can see shortening that stitch length just oh, because definitely. it's such a short distance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't want any fraying here. And then another thing that's really helpful is um, there's a lot of these squares. Multiply by four corners. I think we're, we're 400 and something snowball <laughs> it's corners. a lot. You are not going to catch me squaring up 480 <laughs> no. corners here. So if I can sew this just to the inside or sorry, to the outside of this line here, just like a thread's width on the outside instead of right on top, when I press this open, that the actual like thickness of the thread is not going to get in the way and shrink this down. Yep. Yep. Okay. We so, want to keep that three yeah. and a half inch profile. Yeah. And I can, I can sew those, trim this to a quarter inch. And then I found pressing them open, the seams open was, I just got everything a little neater. Oh, really? No, there's no, oh. on here, there's no, um, points to match up. We're not matching any, oh, you know. Right. So I like the press flat, press okay. open. I've got a couple here. I did here. not know that. I thought yeah. everything was pressing to the outside. Yeah. See, she surprises me. I'm telling you. I only saw the quilt really <laughs> kind of in progress and then finished. Yeah. I didn't realize you were pressing open. And I think when I look at your quilt blocks, they lay so flat. Mm. And that must be part of the strategy of how you're doing it. When, when I can. Yeah. <laughs> so I love that. Oh, these are so cute. They're adorable. Oh, yeah, just we love it. <laughs> <laughs> like I could have sent it her, but then I would have cut off this boy here and a little stamp. And there's a little oh, there's so much going on with this fabric. Super cute. Um, so we're making a ton of these. We're making a ton of these. And then I know we've got those. And then I think it it, it could be a pattern of you know Roy G. Bev, red, orange, mm -hmm. yellow, green, blue, and go violet, or random. Yeah, the layout, whatever yeah. that. I believe on this one, I laid across in rows. I did, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, yeah. indigo, violet. But my cornerstones, I did in like a different order. Gotcha. Um, and we do have, you know, seven colors of the prints. But the Toscanas, there's, I think there's 14 because there's two of each. You know, there's there's two greens and there's two blues. There's more. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know the exact. I know there's yeah. a lot of Toscanas yeah. in there, which make it a lot. Of, a lot of, can I see your yeah. Toscanas? I think I'm missing there's one of the you yellows. Maybe. Well, <laughs> they're the quite yellows. lovely. But they're just so gorgeous together. It adds such dimension to this quilt here. So once we get our blocks, kind of, we've got our snowball corners. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a kind of a. What do they call it? Pillar post? What's just I'm in between? Sashing, you know? And you must have pressed towards that. Yeah, every, yeah, I always press towards. Okay. Um, 
So we've got so that going. That needs to move it. Back. And then down beneath there. So this would be one row, and then our next row would be however, let's see, I like the pink. I think we're always just going to press toward the black, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. So we get interlocking seams. Interlocking seams. So straightforward. Yeah. And so this would be in rows here as well. So you'd have the skinny row, the thicker sure. row, however you'd like to lay that out. Um, and and then, there's, there's, so, there's just so much going on with this fabric. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little obsessed. <laughs> I know she. I've seen some projects, you <laughs> extra ones you've done with some of the extra fabric. And then, of course, we're laying everything out, mm -hmm. sewing everything together. Mm -hmm. And I see there's just a little bit, I think we kind of just added a little bit of a border to kind of just kind of stop the quilt, yeah. center it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, you're coming in with yeah. your quilting and your binding. And you were so inspired that you wrote a poem. Well, yeah, when I was a kid, all the, you know, the, the, the look and find books all had poems in them, you know. Um, and I just, I couldn't stop myself. And, and the thing is, because this, you know, uh, five-year-old looking might not know what chiffon pie filling is. Yeah. But would definitely know what two friends in a heart is or, True. you know, the doll with wooden hair. Right. Um, I wrote one that was kind of easier for kids. And then one I think is very challenging for grown-ups. Um, should I read a couple? Yes. A couple lines. So if you want to follow, be able to, you can even <laughs> cut your fabric, fussy cut it based on the pattern so that you could then, of course, share this with your family mm -hmm. or you write your own poem. Yeah. You know, yeah. we'd love to see that. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't make me. <laughs> a little bit. Just a okay, little bit. Okay, we're just going to read a couple. Um, the easy one. I spy with my eye a whistle of green. Oh, oh, it's yeah. going to take you a minute. <laughs> we don't have that much time on camera. Okay. I, put, I try to put like the colors of these. A whistle of green, a peach, and hello. A sunflower of purple and one also of yellow. Yay. I might I might be able to find that one yeah, either. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sunflower, okay. Um, a few butterflies, pink, yellow, orange, and blue. Three little frogs and a green snake, too. Oh, my gosh, Bethany. Just That's adorable. <laughs> And you see what I'm, what we're saying is that's the thing that's so fun about I Spy Quilts is they're interactive, there's laughing, there's joy, and there's community. It's a really special collection here, the color collage, and I'm so glad you had fun making oh this. Gosh. It is very rare that we see a fabric collection come through like this. So many times they're you know, beautiful, but not so novelty, mm -hmm. so so unique. So unique. And so uh, we hope you enjoyed learning how to make an I Spy quilt um, with this very special collection. Either grab a kit, maybe grab the download, get inspired, grab your kids, grab your family, make your quilt, <laughs> and have a lot of fun. So thanks for giving us part of your day today to show you how to make the I Spy quilt.